Yo, what's good? You're listening to Everyday Superpower, where we talk body language, non-verbal communication, game, relationships, everything in between. I got a question, right? Based on... My recent experiences, I thought I might talk on this, maybe not so much in regards to my recent experiences, but the idea it provoked. Do you need to talk? What do you contribute when you talk? Is there anything to be gained by actually engaging verbally, okay? So, I've been to some meeting, yeah? Got put on a table, had to get along, so on and so forth. So first and foremost, it, it didn't necessarily do me any favour to uh, network and establish relationships. I was just in and out of this particular circumstance right now. Everybody was talking, expressing their opinions on so on and so forth and dipping and diving and essentially just finding space to talk on their own life and who they were and... This and that, yeah? Now, does it make sense for me to just find a space to nonsensically ramble about my life, to fill in my gap and allow my ego to sing? Do they want to hear that? Or are they so just involved in their own world from their own perspective, they just want to, um, you know, do that themselves? Because it's very easy to think, oh, my... my point of view is going to be wanted here, it's going to be needed here, but you have to question yourself, does it actually mean anything, does it build on anything, if you are wanting to communicate and establish relationships and bonds that go from there on, or maybe, um, you know, interact in a manner as to where the other individual can elaborate a point and so forth, it starts to make sense, right, so there does have to be a certain... Uh, analysis prior to the opening of your mouth as we think before we speak we're intelligent people right we don't just speak for the sake of it but if there's no real reason to do so then that means your words and contribution to the to the communication is uh, it's meaningless it's nothing but taking food off of their table and when I say that I mean, taking time off of them as to where they can just continue fulfilling the desires of their own self-inflated ego by just chatting about themselves. Now, you also as an observant individual can hear, think and process and transcribe the words and the essence of the message they are putting forward and you can live and learn from their stories, but... Honestly speaking, 90% of other individuals are going to be doing so when you speak because they're just waiting for their turn to speak. You get where I'm coming from, yeah? We talk about this quite regular um, as far as other people, you know, not necessarily caring too much about what you have to say. So when you flip that upside down and become an individual who does care what other people have to say genuinely because you have some, you know interesting breaking down and understanding the context behind the words because there's so much more going on than a, a sentence being spoken uh, then it becomes quite fun and you become an active and engaged listener so I'm asking you does it make sense to talk when your boss pulls you over and starts to speak to you about your weekend right how much do they actually care about your weekend or are they actually just trying to engage for work purposes to put on an image because you best believe that's still your boss you're still a subordinate you're still not on even grounds all right so as far as being acquaintances and friends and so forth well the hierarchy doesn't state that the reality of the matter doesn't state that so you can you can you know give them a sentence or two but the reality is they don't want to hear a whole fucking 10 minutes on what you did at the weekend? More, more than likely not. More than likely not. And disregarding the power of the individual, 
given that they are still human, they still probably want you to flip it once again and ask them about their weekend and then they can baffle on. Baffle, 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 baffle. Baffle, 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 you know? All right, thank you. Let's get back to work. So that's it. That's it, really. Uh, as I said, based on a meeting I had, um, you know, placed in a group of people who were fine, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't not get along with these people, but as far as any purpose of speaking, I was there for information to hear a speaker talk, to gain benefit from a position that wasn't the individuals upon my table. It just becomes a pissing contest of who has the most to say. And the only person they're pleasing is themselves at the end of the day. So do you want to be that person and contribute to that? Do you feel the magnetic pull pulling you into performing like the people around you? I don't know. And with that, with that one, I'm signing out, people. A little bit of food for thought, peace.